Well, with any functional group, you have to learn how to make it and then what can you do with it. That is, how to synthesize it and what are its reactions. So first of all, we have to learn how to make carboxylic acids. I'm not attending lectures, so I don't know for sure which reactions your instructor is going over, but I know pretty much because they're pretty standard. But if I mention something that doesn't sound familiar at all, you let me know. All right, um, but uh, this is probably something that you'll see. So you can do it by oxidation. I think maybe we were already talking about this last time. So. So let's write the product of this reaction. This is a predictive products problem. Now the initial product would be this aldehyde. However, as we've talked about, um, since this still has a CH bond that we can break, this can oxidize a second time. The water ultimately contributes an OH group. This oxidizes a second time to form a carboxylic acid, so you don't even have to bother drawing this intermediate. The final product will be this carboxylic acid. So the answer to the question is that this is the product. Now last semester we called this over-oxidation, because we, we usually didn't want this to happen. Usually last semester we were trying to make aldehydes and ketones, but now maybe we want to make a carboxylic acid. So maybe we shouldn't call it over-oxidation, it just means that, that it, this is oxidized twice. You can see it oxidized twice, because here the alpha, we started with only one bond to oxygen. Here we have two bonds to oxygen, and now we have three bonds to oxygen. So there's been two oxidations. All right, so we've seen uh, these oxidations here. You can just tell me in words what would be the product of this reaction. No, no. Right, we just went over that last time. Remember that if you use PCC with no water, it can only oxidize once. So if you only want to make the aldehyde, you can just use PCC with no water. Um, but if you want to keep oxidizing to a carboxylic acid, you should use water. There's a whole bunch of different oxidizing agents you can use here. Uh, besides chromium, the textbook also mentions potassium permanganate and nitric acid, so you just need to look at your lecture notes and see what are the oxidizing agents that your instructor mentioned that can oxidize all the way to a carboxylic acid. And again, if you don't want the carboxylic acid, if you want to stop at the aldehyde, use PCC with no water. So instead you would use a solvent like this. What would be the final product here? Carboxylic acid, sorry. Let's go through the steps like we did here. The initial oxidation would give us a ketone. The initial oxidation would give us a ketone, and now can this oxidize a second time in the presence of water? No. No. Because there's no CH bonds. As we've just discussed in the past, each oxidation has to break a CH bond. So if there are no CH bonds, we, can, we can't keep oxidizing. So this is not the way to make carboxylic acids. You can't make a carboxylic acid out of this because remember to make the carboxylic acid out of an alcohol, you're going to have to oxidize twice. To make a carboxylic acid after an out of an alcohol, you have to oxidize twice. So there have to be at least two CH bonds to break. But this only has one CH bond to break. So here it doesn't matter that we're in the presence of water, we're still going to stop at the ketone over here. So these are technicalities that are oftentimes tested. So here we just got the ketone. Well, how could we phrase this? Well, what type of functional group is this? An alcohol, secondary. That's it. This is a secondary alcohol, and this is a primary alcohol. Primary alcohols can be oxidized all the way to carboxylic acids because they have enough CH bonds to break. But secondary alcohols cannot be oxidized all the way to carboxylic acids because they don't have enough CH bonds. All right.
So that's a react those are reactions we've seen a couple times in the past, and then they gave you one or two new ways to make carboxylic acids. <laughs> <laughs>